Good morning, everybody. It is Patsy's from Patsy's Crochet. I made this beautiful, it's supposed to be a dishcloth, <laughs> but it ended up to be really huge. And I don't think you want to use that as a dishcloth. Like, to you, it might look small, but to me, it's huge. So I would say you can use this as a hot pad, maybe a face cloth. I don't know. I don't know. Or a doily. So I made this out of the Burnett Handicraft Cotton. Uh, I'm going to do one, we're going to do one out of the blue and white one. So I hope that you like this pattern. Um, turned out bigger. So we'll see, maybe we'll just do two of them and then we'll do that. So it looks smaller. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm using a 550 crochet hook, millimeter, and we're going to do a magic circle, if I could do it. I'm not really good at this, but I will try my best to keep my hands in the picture. And I'm crooking my hands for some reason. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's pull this loop a little bit. There. Make it smaller. Okay. And then we're going to do... Oops, sorry. I'm not really good at this, so I'm just learning how to do this magic loop. Or you guys can do the chain five. Okay, one, two, and three. So you do your, your chain of five, slip stitch into your first chain, or you do the magic circle, chain three, and do this, this counts as your one double crochet. So in the UK, it would be a treble crochet. We need 10 of them. So this is one. Two, sorry about the light, I just knocked my light. Two, I don't know why that went like that. Three, four, five, six, Seven. Sorry, my hands are out of the page right now. My yarn just went nuts. And my dog is playing around. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, and ten. For your circle, if it'll pull nice and gently, we want a little bit of a, and then spread your stuff around, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. And now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of your first one. First double crochet you made, your chain. Okay, now, hopefully this won't curl on us, so I'll try not to do it too tight. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and inside each stitch you're going to do two double crochets. So inside the one where you just did your chain, you're going to do another double crochet. Okay. Now you're going to go into the next one. What happened here? Oh, there it is. And do two double crochets, or two trebles into your stitch all the way around. Sorry about that. My dog's knocking everything over. Two, four. Five. Six. Oh, 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 oh. I am not prepared. One, two, so two, four, six. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if I could boost this up a little bit for you. I don't know if I can. Hold on. Oh, 
there. Okay. I boosted up a little bit. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Eleven. Come on. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh. Sorry, we have a little naughty. There we go. Okay. Now it does look like it's going to curl up on us. So, spread it out a little bit. Okay. If it does, it'll go flat. And then you do another two. So how many do we have now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and oh, twenty. Sorry, my hand is doing it what it wants. Now, after 20 double crochets, you're going to go into your first chain and slip stitch. Okay? All right. Chain two, go back into there. And you're going to do two double crochets, one double crochet, Two double crochets, something like doing a hat. One, two, oops, two, one, oh, two. It's going to look spaced out because I'm doing it really big. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, don't worry, it'll go down. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, and twenty eight, and then slip stitch into your first. Stitch, double crochet. Sorry, yes, it does look like it's going to curl in. But just go back down and flatten it like that. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we got to make it a little bit bigger. So we have to add, mm. our, we're going to do a row of two double crochets in each stitch or two treble. Let's chain three, go back in, the same spot where you just did, two, four, five, oh, sorry, so 
one, uh, two double crochets in the same stitch, okay? Or two trebles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep it all in. I'm trying to do it the wide way again. So one, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oops. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Hope this ain't blurry. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so sorry, I have to come again. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 19 and oops 20. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 23, 24. See, it's going to flatten. I think it's just the way I did the middle. Just do a little hole in the middle. That's what you want. But a little bit bigger than what mine is. So just keep doing two trebles all the way around. And or two double crochets all the way around till you get back to your chain. I can't put you on pause to do it or whatever you want to call it. I can put you on pause, but I think that's just a waste. I have to get, when I get my cam, I could do everything better than that way. So yeah, sit here and do it all, but I think people need to see. I might have to lower this down from a, a big stitch, like, what do you call it, zooming, I have to go down a little bit. So after this row, we're going to do the, um, the shells, okay, because the other one that I made was too big. And I want it to, you can actually keep going the way you're doing it and make it bigger if you want and use up the whole little roll. Uh, this one's only um, how many? Oh, um, it is 71 yards. But like I said, I used one full one and I got a huge one. And I'm going to have to use that as a doily or um, what do you call it? Hot pad. Pot holder. <laughs> okay, but this one looks like it's getting uh, too big for this because I'm, on, I'm doing it tall ways so that way it goes into widescreen for you. I'm hoping. Like I said, one day it works. Other days it don't. I don't know. So. I'm going to be doing another yarn and hook review today.
I don't want to, it'll take so long you guys are gonna get bored but I don't want to go too fast because I want you to learn the stitch unless you already know the stitch but it's okay I haven't seen this one done before, so I had to dig in my pile and of all my dishcloths and stuff like that. Okay, now you're going to go into your first double crochet and slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three. Okay, now this looks small here, but it's a lot better than my big one that I have. <laughs> this will help out a lot. Why did that go that way for? Huh. Thank you. Let's turn that down. There we go. I don't know why it switched sideways on me when I don't have it sideways. This is weird. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you're gonna put no you're not I'm so sorry leave that chain there you're gonna go one two no no one two three so in the third chain no sorry skip one go into the second chain and do a shell I'm awfully sorry, please. We got to do the shell in this one first. Okay. So the chain counts as one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that is five. some reason my uh, video went sideways and I'm doing it straight. And five. Now you're going to skip one, two, and go into the third and do another five double crochets. You don't have to do as loose as me. I'm just doing it just to show you for Five, but I'll use these. So, oh, I made those three big. Hue. <laughs> ah, what a day! Oh well, at least we can laugh. One, two, skip two, go into the third, and do th five double crochets or five trebles. Two, three. Four and five. And then you're going to skip two, one, two, go into the third and do five more double crochets or five more trebles. We'll do this all the way around till we get back to our starting chain. One more there. One, two, go into the third and do five more double crochets, five trebles, and that's four, and that's five. This is new yarn, you could tell. Holy. Oops, sorry. I don't know why it went sideways. I'm not having no idea, and I keep hitting this. One, two, go into third. And do five double crochets. We got four, and we got five. One, two, go into this, and two, three. 
three, four, and five. Okay, skip two, one, two, go into the third and do five more. They can keep going with the shells for a second row, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to watch the whole thing if I did. Or you can just quit like I am after this row. On the other one I did two. Three, go in there and do five. But I don't have no room. Skip two, one, two, go into the third, and do five trebles. One, two, and a third, and do. This is actually a good size right here. A lot better than my huge one. But you can use it. If you go any bigger than this, you can use it as a doily. Honestly, you can. One, two, three, four. And there's five. And then skip two. One, two. Go into the third. We're almost at the end. Three. Four and five. See, that's what it's looking like. That's pretty. Okay, one, two, go into the third and do five. Double crochet, so five trebles. Two. Four and five. One, two. Go into the third and do five more. We're almost there. It's really beautiful. Wow. So, like I said, you can do another round of the, the shells, you know, in between. Or you can quit like I am. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I'm just making mine big. So I'm hoping that you guys, I'm going to check this out. And if it's not any good, then I'm going to make another one. So I'm hoping this turns out really good. And flattens down. Okay, get some more yarn, or sorry, cotton yarn. Skip two, go in the third, and do five more. It's a very easy pattern. You can knock off about, I don't know, it all depends. If you want to do it for Christmas gifts, you can knock off a whole set of them. Five of them, four of them within a half hour, hour. One, two, three. You can hear the Beverly Hills Billy in the background. <laughs> there we go, we're almost there. Skip two and do the third one here.
Now what we're going to do here, we're just going to put one here. Okay. No. Put two. There. Sorry, put three. <laughs> now you're just going to slip stitch. And there you go. Now we'll get us a pair of scissors. Peppers. I don't think these things are worth anything. There we go. Okay. So this is the pattern. That is pretty. Now that is a lot smaller. But you can keep going bigger if you want. But this makes a perfect face cloth. This cloth now, um, you can still use it as doily. But this one is huge. So here's my first one. Look how huge that is. It's huge. And then here's the second one that I just did. Okay? Now you know the difference. The sizes. Alright? So, I want to thank you for joining me for this little washcloth doily or face cloth or hot pad tutorial. And I'll see you in a little while um, with a um, yarn and hook review. Okay, God bless, stay safe, and dress warm. It is cold out here in Canada. Bye-bye.